If mansions listed for $100 million are rare, this place is twice as rare. With an almost $200 million price tag, it's the most expensive listing in all of America. It's called the Palazzo di Amore. A mega mansion perched over Beverly Hills that sits empty. That's right, the billionaire who built it hasn't lived here for eight years. We'll catch up with him later, but first meet the man who designed it. This is one of the most beautiful homes I've ever built. When the super rich want to build a trophy home, they go to Mohammed Hadid, a famed developer who's built some of the most luxurious hotels in the world, and a handful of mega homes with some monumental price tags. Every single thing in this house has been imported. And we had literally a thousand different artisans from different parts of the world putting this house together. A thousand workers and nearly a decade of construction, all spent packing the house with some very expensive details. A half million dollar Moroccan room concealed inside the master suite. But like the rest of this house, every detail got over the top royal treatment. Specifically built by uh, the royal artisans in Morocco. And the king's craftsmen built this. That's did, correct. Did he have to give them permission to build it for this house? And it was uh, approved by the king. There are 22 more bathrooms, plus a total of 12 bedrooms. And yes, this is one enormous bedroom. There's also a standalone guest house and a 15,000 bottle wine cellar. Even more impressive is this. 12-acre vineyard that produces up to 500 cases of its own private label wine. I think this is probably the only wine-making estate in Beverly Hills. There's even a 15,000 square foot entertainment complex. To get inside, guests walk across a glass footbridge lined by olive trees. There are about 100 of these trees on the ground, all hand-picked from Northern California for $10,000 a piece. Do these trees actually produce olives? Uh, no, these have been sprayed not to produce olives. That way it doesn't mess up the ground. Correct. Past the million dollar grove of olive trees, olives not included, is the two-story party complex. There's a 50-seat movie theater downstairs, upstairs, a party space that includes a $150,000 revolving dance floor. How many people can fit in this room? I would say over a thousand people in this room and outdoors. So this is really uh, the ultimate entertainment area. Of a thousand of your closest friends. And I am sure that Jeff Green and Maisie have at least a thousand of closest friends. Billionaire Jeff Green and his wife Maisie are the owners. They got married at the Palazzo di Amore and yes, that's Mike Tyson as Jeff's best man. The couple actually lives in Florida where we caught up with them. You've never really lived there. We had some dinners and lunches, and, but we never lived there as our full-time resident. Their Beverly Hills Palace sits empty, while this mansion in Palm Beach is where they call home. Jeff made his billions investing in real estate. Actually, there's a little irony here. He became a billionaire betting against the housing market just before it crashed. Now, he's betting on luxury. I've probably bought and sold, you know, a thousand pieces of real estate in my life. You know, it's been a very diversified real estate career. This is just one more chapter. Back in Beverly Hills, Jeff hopes this chapter involves a record-breaking sale. But so far, no takers. $195 million. Is it worth it? Do you think it's going to sell for around that price? Well, look, there's nothing like this. So if you want the best of anything, you have to pay for it. I believe he will get that. By the time you take the 52,000 square feet with all the elements around and all the details, immediately you have a value of $195 million. A prize cigar collection a multi-million dollar stash of jewels, or stacks of precious metal. The super rich don't protect their most valuable possessions downstairs in a drab steel box. Instead, they secure their belongings in personalized luxury safes. We did a whole vault just for wine. We also did a whole one for a Harley Davidson collection. I've done them for shoes. We had one client, he has his cheap watches up front on a smaller panel, and then he has the rest of them hidden in other compartments within the safe. 
These fully customized safes can run as much as a million dollars, including personal touches like stitching to match a Ferrari. We recently did a safe where the entire interior was done in ostrich hides. We had one client that requested he wanted absolutely zero nails in his entire house. So in the safe, the whole interior, everything had to be very, very finely fitted. We just finished one that's a Damascus metal. Kind of pays homage to the client who's really, really into his sword collection. Linnell Brown runs California-based Brown Safe. She says form always follows function. These custom fortresses are guarded by a series of titanium locking bolts. They're fire and drill proof and equipped with GPS tracking devices in case they're ever stolen. Other options include booby traps armed with wired hand grenades, biometric fingerprint entry, and even military grade ballistic armor, able to deflect 50 caliber bullets. The wait list for these tailor-made units is nearly three months long, and production takes about eight weeks. But throughout the entire process, the company sends images to the client so they can see in real time what their safe looks like. But there are times the company or even the client can't plan for everything. When we actually delivered the safe, he said, I, I don't know what I'm gonna put in it. I think I'm gonna put car keys and sunglasses in it. So he really was buying the safe as an art piece. The super rich have a voracious appetite for gold. And when fancy necklaces and rings aren't enough, they turn to the man with the Midas touch. Pretty much everything I create is gold. There's nothing Hugh Power won't turn to gold. Chess sets, shoelaces, straws. I'm wrapping up a pair of chopsticks, gemstone chopsticks. Hugh is the quirky character behind Gifts of Gold, the name says it all. It's a collection for the man who has everything and the woman who has everything. He's been designing jewelry for 30 years, and for security reasons, Hugh asked us not to reveal the exact location of his studio. These are the uh, infamous click golds. They're quite unique and rare. Look at this uh, beautiful daredevil fishing lure, ruby encrusted with white diamonds. It's obviously for the fisherman who has everything. His client list is top secret. From Dubai to Hong Kong to obviously Hollywood. Very high net worth individuals all over the planet. But Hugh did tell us that rapper Snoop Dogg had him make a gold toothpick. These particular ones are solid gold with gemstones. These are totally functional. I use one every day and so do all my friends. His latest showpiece, this half million dollar mountain bike made with 24 karat gold. The chain, the spokes, the gears, even the pedals, all covered in gold. And what Hugh calls a few extra touches. The emblem was the final touch. I've got 500 black diamonds and 600 yellow sapphires. A seat wrapped in alligator skin plus, the most expensive bike in the world includes a very fancy water bottle, of course, is made of gold and wrapped in Stingray. Hugh's pretty confident he'll find a super rich buyer for it. There's so much money out there and they're looking for places to spend it. You always remember we gave you the gifts of gold. <laughs> <laughs>